Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Stan Collymore tells 25-year-old star to leave Arsenal and join West Ham now. Stan Collymore believes joining West Ham United would be the perfect move for Arsenal star Aaron Ramsdale amid his struggles this season. Mikel Arteta has come under some criticism this term mainly because of his decision and goal. The Arsenal boss has preferred David Raya over Ramsdale and the 25-year-old England goalkeeper's future is up in the air as a result. Aaron Ramsdale started this season as Arsenal's number one. The Englishman had a fantastic campaign last time out. He saved the Gunners on numerous occasions and played a massive part in helping them mount a title challenge. Nobody really expected anything to change in Arsenal's goal, but Mikel Arteta surprised everyone by dropping Ramsdale and choosing Raya. He has stuck with the Brantford Lowney even though he has committed a few errors already, and that has led to many believing Ramsdale will be out of the door soon. Stan Collymore has had his say on the situation and he feels West Ham United are a perfect project for Ramsdale to restart his career. He told Cout Offside, I wonder if West Ham might fancy him. They've got Alphonse Areola and Fabianski as their two senior keepers, but both are into their 30s with the latter close to turning 40. So it seems a change in that position is coming sooner rather than later. Could Ramsdale be the man for David Moyes? I think so. And I also think that's one club that could offer him exactly what he is looking for. The Hammers are a big enough club that their players are considered for international duties. They have had recent success in Europe and by the manager's own admission are now aiming to establish themselves as a Champions League side that seems like the perfect project for a player like Ramsdale. A move this month is unlikely, so we think Ramsdell should give it his all to win his spot back in the side. If he does and manages to get back in, we are convinced he will be the number one again. David Ornstein says he's not heard anything to suggest 23-year-old will leave Arsenal. Arsenal may need to sell a few players if they want to buy anyone this month. After spending a huge amount in the summer, the Gunners are cutting it fine in terms of FFP right now and the player sales may be necessary if there is to be any incoming business this month. One player who has been strongly linked with a move away from the Emirates is Emil smith -Rowe. The midfielder has barely been getting a game for Arsenal in recent months and many have suggested that it would be for the best if the 23-year-old moved on now. However, speaking on the Transfer Gossip Daily podcast, David Ornstein has claimed that Smith Rowe is likely to stay at Arsenal, claiming that he has not heard anything to suggest the midfielder will be leaving North London this month. Ornstein shared what he knows about Smith Rowe. He said, Do they have to raise money through departures? Most likely. There are assets there such as Eden Kataya, who is liked by Crystal Palace. I don't sense any movement with Smith Rowe leaving permanently in January. Maybe that one would be addressed in the summer, and maybe there'd be some loan interest, but that's not the sort of thing that would raise money unless it was a permanent departure. Whether it's this month or in the summer. Smith Rowe absolutely needs a move away from Arsenal in the near future. Simply put, his career can't go on like this. The midfielder is way too talented to be rotting on the Arsenal bench every week, and if he is ever going to fulfill the incredible potential he showed a few years ago, he needs to be playing football. It sounds like Smith Rowe won't be leaving this month, but when the summer rolls around, he needs to be pushing for a move. Chris Sutton says Arsenal have a 22-year-old player who is going to explode soon. 
Arsenal haven't been at their brilliant best this season. The Gunners played some truly incredible football last term and they were a joy to watch most of the time. However, this term, their attacking play has been much less fluid and their star players haven't been playing with as much confidence or freedom it feels. Bukayo Saka quite simply hasn't been as good as he was last season and if you are one to buy into any of this, his XG numbers show that he is underperforming in terms of finishing. Speaking on Fantasy 606, Chris Sutton has been analyzing Saka's numbers and he says that the winger is going to improve in the second half of the season, claiming that he is simply too good to continue underperforming. Sutton shared his verdict on the winger, he said. If you look at Saka's number, he is underperforming. If you take away his penalty goals and you look at the goals minus the XG, he is underperforming from open play. So he is due in the second half of the season to improve that he is too good of a player. As Sutton says, Saka is way too good to continue on a run like this. The winger is a supreme talent who can usually be relied upon to do the business in the final third, but it's not quite happened for him this season. However, these things usually even themselves out over the course of a season when you are a world-class player and we wouldn't be shocked at all if Saka were to go on an incredible run in the new year and re-establish himself as a genuinely one of the most dangerous players in the Premier League. An uptick in form could be just around the corner for Saka. Pounded says Arsenal have a player who looks totally gone right now. Nobody at Arsenal seems to be playing with much conviction at the moment and one player who is clearly suffering is Kai Havertz. Speaking to Off The Ball, John Giles has been discussing Arsenal's issue at the moment and he says that Havertz looks as though his confidence is absolutely shattered at the moment. Giles shared his verdict on the German. He said, They don't look at it at the moment. Who is there who you can depend on to score the goals? They don't look like they have Havertz. He looks as if his confidence is shattered. Watching the game against Liverpool, they made a chance after a chance and he had about three chances and he miscontrolled the ball on three occasions, which is the worst thing you can do as a striker. Whether he is nervous, it doesn't matter. If he is not scoring goals, he is not scoring goals. This has been the story of Havertz's Arsenal career to date. He's not had any confidence on the pitch since arriving in North London, and while he found a bit of form in late November, he appears to be back to square one now. Havertz had seemingly found a bit of rhythm at Arsenal after scoring crucial goals against Brantford and Luton, but now he's back to where he started and it may take him some time to rediscover any semblance of form. Havertz isn't the only player at Arsenal who is struggling at the moment, but it has to be said that he does look like he has lost a bit of self-belief in recent weeks as Arsenal continue to lose games and drop points. David Ornstein says £50 million player isn't going to sign for Arsenal. Arsenal continue to be linked with the new strikers and the latest player to be touted for a move to the Gunners is Joshua Zergzi. The Bologna striker is ripping it up in Serie A at the moment and inevitably has been at the center of plenty of speculation since his hit form. Arsenal are said to be keen on Zergzi, but unfortunately it doesn't sound as though this deal is likely to go through this month. Indeed. According to David Ornstein, speaking on the Transfer Gossip Daily podcast, Zergzi isn't likely to join Arsenal this month. Ornstein shared what he knows about the Dutch attacker. He said, To do someone a deal like Zergzi is pretty invisible this month. He is attracting a lot of eyes across Europe. Bayern have some control over the situation due to come convoluted buyback possibility. I don't think he will go to Arsenal. I think too much needs to happen and they are planning for a quiet month at Arsenal. 
All the noises coming out of Arsenal suggest that this is going to be a very difficult month for the Gunners. After such a huge summer of spending, it looks like the purse strings are really tight at Arsenal right now and a reported £50 million pound move for someone like Zergzi appears to be beyond them. Of course, a few player sales could change things quickly, but as of yet, Arsenal don't seem to be keen to raise cash in that way. The Gunners certainly need new players through the door if they are to challenge for the Premier League title once again, but sadly, that's easier said than done. Zirgzi may be a target for Arsenal in the future, but it sounds as though a January move isn't on the cards. Journalist shares what he's now heard about Arsenal's latest bid to sign a striker. Ivan Tony is thought to be the main target for Mikel Arteta. However, reports in midweek suggested a bid had also gone in for Getafe goal getter Borja Mayoral. However, speaking on the 5 YouTube show, journalist Bennett Jacobs had some bad news for Arsenal on the striker front. Speaking about Arsenal's options this January in terms of landing a new striker, Jacobs suggested a new forward might not even come in at all. He said, I've got bad news for you and Arsenal fans on that front. There is no truth in the bid for Borja Mayoral of Getafe and Arsenal may not bring in a striker. It's funny as so many clubs are quiet, so a lot of the answers in this window are things are a bit boring. If they could get Tony, they try and get him, but the challenge with Tony, much like Victor Osiman, he is one clubs are going to have to wait for. The link to Borja this week was met with disdain anyway, so on that front, Arsenal fans won't be too disappointed. However, it's bad news for them that there might not even be a new forward at all this winter. That will worry Arsenal fans, who know they might not get a better chance to take the title. Mikel Arteta and Edu have some work to do this January. They cannot simply sit back and allow a chance at the title pass them by. The signing of Kai Havertz has not had the desired effect, while Gabriel Jesus and Edin Kataya do not score enough goals, a new forward then is a must. Arsenal could actually sign £60 million attacker for a free. Arsenal and Ivan Tony are going hand in hand in this transfer window, and the brand for the striker has been a topic of conversation again. Tony is widely recognized as being the number one choice for Mikel Arteta and Arsenal if they were to sign a forward this month. However, a big fee would be needed to land Tony. Anything from £60 million all the way up to £100 million has been mentioned as a potential fee. Further, Arsenal are also close to the bone when it comes to FFP, meaning a January deal is hard to do. And according to journalist Bennett Jacobs, the situation around Tony could see Arsenal actually try and sign him for a free in 2025. Speaking on the 5 YouTube show, Jacobs spoke at length about Tony and admitted all the possibilities, including a free transfer, are on the table. He said, Tony would welcome the move to Arsenal now, despite what he said on record, so a sale can't be ruled out, but nor can a new contract, and if somehow Tony and Brantford can agree on a new structure, which is hard because Tony is looking for around £200,000 a week, if it turns out that happens, it won't rule out an exit, but it would calm the imminent possibility of him leaving, but free agency is also a possibility in 2025, so if you are Arsenal, you are thinking big money was spent in the summer, do we need Tony now, and Arsenal are probably thinking about FFP, and if they can get Tony at more value later down the line, so that's why I don't think there is any guarantee that they make a move for a striker in this window. It's really turning into a big game of cat and mouse, this. On one hand, you have Tony suggesting he'd like to stay for now and repay some of the faith Brantford have placed in him. On the other hand, you have the temptation of moving to Arsenal and potentially firing them to the title. All the while, 
you have the scenario around how much it cost as well as other clubs being keen. This is a big risk scenario for Arsenal right now if they do decide to wait until 2025 then so much can change in that time that they might miss out altogether. Likewise they could spend 100 million now and Tony doesn't do the business. This rumor doesn't look like going away but you can see why Arsenal aren't just going all out. Arsenal expected to shop in loan market only this window. Mikel Arteta and Edu at Arsenal are expected to encounter a significant challenge in the January transfer window regarding potential new signings. Arsenal made substantial investment in the summer to strengthen Arsenal's squad, aiming to address issues that contributed to the premature end of last season's title charge largely due to injuries. With such spending in the summer and potential financial fair play considerations, Arsenal need to be cautious not to violate FFP rules and regulations with any additional spending in the current transfer window. Due to concerns about FFP regulations, it's uncertain whether Arsenal will make any signings in the current transfer window. Gunners manager Mikel Arteta has indicated that it's possible no deals will be completed. Injuries, especially in the fullback positions, have influenced the team's plans, prompting Arteta to share his perspective on the potential signing of a new player in that position. He said in his latest press conference the following, We are open for the transfer market, but the emphasis is on making the most of what we have. Meanwhile, Football London have stated the Gunners will only be monitoring the loan market in January. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.